What's going on guys? Chances are if you clicked on this video, you want to learn how to invert an object. Now why did that look so good? Well, anyone can reverse footage and call it an inverted object, whatever, but I went the extra mile to talk while that's happening. So you're like, what? You know, th this thing's being reversed in time. It looks just like the movie. Yes, it does. So the first step was to film myself dropping the object. And then I let the object sit there on the table for an extra five or 10 seconds without moving it. And then I hit it. And mind you, I'm standing in the same spot. I haven't touched the camera. I'm not even gonna stop recording and start a new one. I'm just rolling this entire time. So I moved the object off frame and then pretended to reverse drop something while I'm giving that introduction. And now the real magic comes when we edit it. So I imported my footage to After Effects. So the bottom layer is me giving the introduction. The top layer is me actually dropping the object. Now right click that top layer, go to time, and then reverse the layer. So now line up the top and bottom layer to where the object will start to be covered by the subject's hand. All right, scroll back to the beginning of the effect and now we're going to make a mask around the object and then a second mask around the reflection if there is one on whatever surface that you're working with. Make sure to keep the mask modes on none so you can actually watch what you're masking out. Now turn on the mask path keyframes at the beginning of the effect and then continue to adjust the mask as necessary throughout the duration of the effect. You wanna keep masking out the object and then the reflection for as long as it's there. Now around the time that the object is getting close to the subject's fingers, make sure that you're adjusting the mask to where the fingers are covering the object and not the other way around. Don't forget to change the mask modes from none to add once you're done with the whole masking process. Now bump up the mask feather just slightly. I changed mine to three. I chose to leave in the reverse layer audio because it actually sounded really cool and made it more believable to me. Boom, that is how you can quickly invert an object just like from the movie Tenet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a like, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.